Hello and welcome to this course on Hortonworks Data Platform Administration. My name is Sijesh and we are learning Hortonworks Data Platform Upgrade. So I already have a cluster with HTTP 2.6 version available. I'm just upgrading it into the latest available version that is HTTP 3. Let me check the version which I'm using. It's a 2.6.50 and you can go to the stack and version and get this version information and this is basically a three node hadoop cluster with a version 2.60 so first create a local repository for http uh, 3 and uh, if you are okay with internet based repository you can go ahead with that so here i'm using a local repository for http so get that repository url from here and based on your operating system copy that tarball for http so copy this and download to your system by using wget command so wget will help us to download these packages from internet if you don't have direct internet access you can download it and transfer to this cluster host by using any file transfer tools so once this is downloaded, we can go ahead and download HTTP util tarball. Copy this link and use the same wget command and download those files. So once this is downloaded, the next we can go ahead and download HTTP GPL. So sometimes this may not be needed, but still uh, we can download that and uh, create the repository for the same so once these files are downloaded you can see these files HDP HDP util and HDP HPL uh, sorry HDP GPL go ahead and unzip these files so I'm using tar zxvf command to unzip and using the destination as slash var ww html so I already have the package available so which I used for my previous version and uh, that files will be created or new directory will be created and these files will be unzipped into that directory so go to slash bar ww html and then http and uh, sorry uh, sorry HTTP util I already have the same version available so but still I can just unzip this and uh, to the same directory slash var wwhtml if it is a new directory it will create otherwise it will over it and also unzip HTTP GPL package also to the directory location slash var wwhtml So once this is downloaded, oh, I mean once it is uncompressed, we can go to var whtml directory and go to the HTTP and then uh, you can see the CentOS which was already there and here the new directory with the 3010 created. So go inside that until you find a directory report data inside that and copy this URL and make a note of this. So just this will be our new repository location node 1 is the server where we are unzipping our uh, I mean HTTP file and uh, similarly get the directory location for HTTP utils also go to HTTP utils and go inside and find uh, this directory location and copy that directory location slash var wwhtml we can ignore that is a default http root directory http colon slash slash node1.hadoop.com slash this url and similarly get that http gpl repository location also http hyphen gpl then go inside until you see a directory repo data then so copy this directory location and here also uh, http colon slash slash node1.hadoop.com 
so node 1 is the server my file server or HTTP server is running so now go to the Ambari console and go to the stack and version then go ahead and hit this manage version hit OK and this will uh, I mean uh, we are reaching to another page and here we have an option to register a new version and by default it's a HTTP 3010 use the local repository option and then paste that HTTP and HTTP utils URLs okay and then go ahead and save and uh, skip this uh, validation and then save because uh, without skipping the validation it was showing some error so now you can see we have registered and then go ahead and install then click here and install on training training is the cluster name so now uh, we can click here and install on packages so this takes some time so this is installing the packages so you can just hit there and to see the status so basically we have three host node 1 node 2 node 3 and you can see the status here in backend it's doing a yum install command okay so this is done go ahead and hit ok and then uh, close this so now we have an option to upgrade just uh, okay if you see the details you can see or how many hosts are installed and how many are failed go ahead and hit this upgrade okay then we have got two upgrade option rolling and express rolling will take lot of time when there is no outage but express out uh, in I mean upgrade will be faster but there is an always an outage involved and you can see some warning and uh, some error so you need to make sure all these things are uh, cleared so the one most common thing uh, warning we used to get is uh, the service check so we have to make sure all the services are working properly and uh, do a service check on each and every component okay so that HDF service check I have done similarly yarn and uh, the other whatever the components available do a service check on that from the action you have an option for service check for every component available in our cluster also before upgrading make sure you have taken the proper backup of all the databases and also you have a proper outage window for this upgrade because if you are doing an ex express upgrade so there is always an outage involved it will restart the services and rolling upgrade so normally will take lot of time and that will be uh, I mean you can do rolling upgrade only if you have high availability enabled okay so now it's doing the service check and will take some time so basically it evaluate all the services are working properly so wait for some time to finish this service check and you need to clear all the warnings or all the error that you are getting in the pop-up when we try to do an upgrade so go back to the page so we can go from this page go to the stack and version so uh, and one more thing we have to disable this service auto restart so i'm just disabling from the services auto restart option which is available on the left left hand side bottom and then disable that so once that is done go to the stack and version and i can continue with this go to the version just hit this upgrade so now uh, it's showing two warnings let me check that warning one is the disk uh, issue so i don't have much disk space available on node one since it's a completely testing environment i don't have much hard disk space available so it's very rare chance like in a production environment you are, you will not get any warnings like this so i'm going to delete a uh, couple of files which I have downloaded so these are the files so I'm just uh, removing all this tarball which I downloaded and also uh, all the Ambari and HTTP files all that is also I'm going to remove 
and also you can ignore this warning and then proceed go ahead and hit yes and again one more warning that is again related to the disk space i'm okay with this and hit go ahead and hit this proceed anyway option so on node 1 i don't have much space available okay and go ahead and hit proceed anyway so you can see uh, it's upgrading so wait some time till this uh, finish so normally it takes some time to do this upgrade process so it has to stop all the services and uh, uh, it has to upgrade uh, each and every component so normally it's a time consuming process okay so it's uh, waiting to leave this safe mode it means it's uh, trying to restart HDFS service so if your HDFS is so huge then you need to make sure okay so uh, that the timeout period you have set so you, you better refer this documentation from Hortonworks before doing a production upgrade but for testing and development purpose you won't feel much issues like this timeout because you don't have much data available in your name node okay then i have uh, performed this manual step and then finalize so now this is completed and uh, just uh, refresh this and you can see it's uh, upgraded to http 3010 and whatever the components HDFS yarn and MapReduce 2 that is also upgraded <coughs> so I recommend you to read the documentation from Hortonworks before doing a production upgrade and also you can go ahead and hit this upgrade history and that will tell you what kind of upgrade we have done what are the packages we have uh, upgraded so far and also the available versions that also we can get this from this page so that's it this concludes the upgrading HTTP cluster thank you